going to be talking about this tweet right here. Thinking about transferring all my WordPress sites plus one Statomic site to DigitalOcean using something like Laravel Forge. I got a ton of responses <laughs> to this. It just keeps going and going and going. Server Pilot, Laravel Forge, Run Cloud. These are the options I'm considering today. Folks asked me why I'm even thinking about doing this in the first place. Oh, Laravel Forge. Well, there you go. Um, and there is this idea, like I run my own business. And, um, you know, I've been using uh, WP Engine for hosting my WordPress sites. And the whole motivation for this is my friends, Paul Jarvis and Jared Drys Drysdale, just switched to server pilot plus digital ocean and they really like it. And this is the problem I have on WP engine is they have a hundred thousand visitor limit each month. And these are from back in 2016, 2015, but you can see like my regular plan was 99 bucks, but this month I paid 278 bucks, 120, 129, 130, 123, 163. And so those additional visits end up costing me a lot of money. And sometimes justinjackson.ca, the blog posts on here get a lot of traffic. And so it feels like I'm always hitting up against the visits per month. And I like WP Engine a lot. Um, you know, I think for a lot of businesses, it makes more sense to just pay like what's your hourly rate? If your hourly rate is, you know, 50, 80, 100, $150 per month, then uh, maybe it doesn't make sense to provision your own servers. Yeah, it is expensive, Armin. I, I agree. Just to be clear though, Laravel Forge is, uh, I think it's $19 for unlimited. So $19 per month for unlimited servers. I can do a single server, unlimited sites, which maybe I should just do anyway to start. But for unlimited servers, it's $19 per month. So Forge is uh, $19. Now DigitalOcean, some people have been saying they've been running things on $5 droplets, but I think we're expecting at least $10, right? So Already, I'm at 29 bucks. WP Engine is 99 per month, right? And they do everything. They do they do backups. They do all all that stuff. And so, I would also have to have some sort of backups uh, service, right? I think you can use Jetpack for backups. I think that's what uh, Jared says he's using. Let me let me check here. I said, any problems with this new setup yet? Does it feel worth your time? Have backups upgrades been a pain? Paul Jarvis says, 100% worth it. I'm saving so much fucking money. Jared Drysdale says, I put this on Twitter too, but backups have been super easy for me. Using the weekly digital ocean droplet backup plus Jetpack daily for critical sites like my courses. Yeah, and Mohammed saying the $10 droplet can handle 100,000 visits. You can also scale later if you need to. One reason I am thinking about switching is because it I think the 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 line between managed and not managed has gotten uh a lot grayer. It used to be, you know, managed they really offered you a lot, but services like DigitalOcean and now Forge and these other things have gotten so much better. It's almost like that benefit that you used to get from the managed server is maybe not as good. I mean, Paul runs a, a serious business and, you know, makes good money and his hourly rate is quite high. Same with Jared. And they found it worth their time. I think Paul said he saved, Paul went from $400 per month for managed hosting to $25 per month using Server Pilot and DigitalOcean. The nice thing about Forge 
is it gives me the option of doing Amazon Web Services if I wanted to or Linode. What do you think? Should we just do this right now? Okay, I'm going to register. Now, some folks are going to say, hey, what? why are you choosing Forge? Why not Server Pilot, which is what... Um, <laughs> Ballistic Bill. Do it! Spend some money, man! Do it live! Um, some folks are going to say, why, well, not, why not Server Pilot? Or why not uh, Run Cloud? And part of it's because I read the reviews and, you know, did all that other stuff. But honestly... Uh, because Taylor Otwell runs Laravel Forge and I like him and I want to support his work. <laughs> I don't know anybody at RunCloud. And I think that sometimes you just have to support your friends. You have to support people that you admire, that you respect. And so that's partly how I did the process of elimination. Now, <laughs> again, I'm also assuming I'm going to be able to bug people like Taylor every once in a while, uh, which is a little bit unfair if I need help. But the Laravel community uh, is, as I've mentioned before, so great. And so, yeah, I feel like it's worth it to, to, uh, to support it. All right. So now let's connect to a source control provider so we can create servers. Okay, so let's connect to GitHub. Laravel Forge by Taylor Otwell. Okay. Okay, so now I'm connected to GitHub. And I'm assuming... Yeah, I might as well create a new uh, droplet right now, right? Um, I mean, I might use Docker later. They just want... They just want to... Is this just like a survey? Oh, it's just a survey? Yeah, okay. Well, I might as well do it. Okay, so I just called this PHP server. Oh, do you actually create the server right on here? Let's try this. So credentials, personal, New York. See, this is the stuff that always confuses me. What do I need to do for WordPress? Yeah, so I guess that's the one thing is I can't see the price on here, can I? Should we just try the $10 per month? That's two gigabytes, two gigabytes, one CPU, 50 gigabytes space. Pitchin Nate is saying at least two gigabytes of RAM if you're running DB and web server on the same server. Yeah, and I want to, like, basically, I want to transfer everything I have on WP Engine, which ironically is not loading right now. <laughs> I'm trying to get into the user portal and it's just like cranking away. It's also not loading any of my visits and stuff. Uh, okay, so I've got these sites here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But some of these are multi-sites and I want to actually take most of these off multi-site. I think I'll keep MegaMaker as a multi-site, but everything else will not be multi-site. And so it could be like 20, 30 WordPress sites. Pitch and Nate, it's about 100. It's, I would say I average 100,000 visits. But the site that gets most of that traffic is justinjackson.ca. And that is going to be moving to a Statomic site. So Armin's saying go for $10 to $15 USD. It will be fine. Three gigabytes memory, six gigabytes disk, three terabytes transfer. Better, so better to go for more memory than more CPUs, you think? Yeah, we can always scale it later, right? Three gigabytes RAM, one CPU core, 60 gigabyte SSD. All right, let's do that. PHP version 7.2. And I'm assuming I'm going to want... See, the weird thing about, uh, that's confusing me is it says database, but I'm going to have multiple sites. Like, how is it going to... I don't understand what's going to do there, but let's let's just go. This might take a while, though, to provision it, right? Oh, see? Pitch and Nate, it's too late. It's already named Colossal Crater. I told you, I'm I'm new to this. I don't think I can change that now, can I? Says it's up and running. Oh, so it's ready to go, isn't it? Why does it still say provisioning here? 
All right. I just got an email that my server was provisioned. Active. All right. 